Hello all, welcome to a brief virtual parent meeting for Great Plains Lutheran High School Girls Volleyball. Um, thank you all who are here and listening to this video. Hopefully it's not too long, um, but I think there are some important things that I wanna just quickly touch base on before we um, start off our season. Uh, just an overview of our coaching staff. My name is Anna Swanson, so I'm the head coach of the program. Um, I'm the varsity coach primarily. Um, my email and cell phone number are there, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call, text, or email. Um, I usually i am pretty good about replying, and I'll try to for sure get back within 24 hours. Um, our junior varsity coach is Rebecca During. She's our dorm supervisor as well for our girls and is a math and strength and fitness instructor, instructor at Great Plains. Her email is there as well, and you can definitely use that. Um, and we are also joined by two wonderful assistant coaches, um, Coach Cheryl Zeck and Coach Jacqueline Carley. Um, and we are very blessed to have them on our coaching staff as well. Um, before we get into anything um, too nitty gritty, I wanna just kind of go over a brief coaching philosophy um, that I have. Um, it's really my job here at Great Plains to um, do a job of developing Christian student athletes. So um, being a Lutheran school, we want to remember to keep Christ always at the center of everything we do. Um, that's something that we try to keep at the center of our practices and our games. Um, we always try to have um, a prayer together as a team before games and things like that. Um, it's just a good reminder to know that girls can shine their light um, and give their glory to their savior, um, even while doing something as simple as playing volleyball. Um, I also want to stress, and the girls know this, we've already talked about this um, during training rules, during tryout week already, that they are students before athletes. So they're student athletes, not athlete students. Um, anything school related will come first. Um, and then I just have two, uh, two quick goals about um, my coaching that I, I want to get across. Um, my first goal is that I want to provide the opportunity for individual improvement, team improvement, and sportsmanship. And I want to provide the athletes with quality instruction regarding the te technical and tactical aspect of the game. Um, this year, we've had um, kind of a wonderful problem to have, actually. We've had um, up to 33 girls in the gym at one time, which is just crazy to think about. Um, it's a lot of girls in there. Um, it's a great sign that our school is growing and we love having so many girls um, show their love for the game and come out for the sport. Um, but because of that, we have to be realistic and reasonable about the amount of girls that we can coach at one time and reasonably get into a game at one time as well. Um, we only have two courts. We only have two head coaches. Um, so we only have so many jerseys. So because of things like these, um, we do have to make cuts this year. This is a, something that I've introduced um, via email to parents. And we've also talked to athletes about this at practice as well. Um, so just a few things about how we're selecting the teams. Um, all athletes will be evaluated and selected on their technical, tactical, and physical abilities, as well as their overall attitude following the practices of tryout week. Um, so on Friday, August 20th, um, we will speak to the athletes on an individual basis on team selection. So uh, we value the courage that the girls have trying out. Um, they know that cuts are being made and they're still coming out, knowing that they could be the ones being cut. And that's not something easy to do. So um, maybe speaking to them on, a, on an individual basis is harder than posting a list. Um, but we believe that um, those girls deserve um, that personal touch, um, and we want to have a conversation with them about um, their hard work that they've displayed over the course of the week. Um, but again, because there are over 30 girls that we have to speak to, uh, we can't really have like a 20-minute conversation with each girl. Um, so we'll we'll try to be uh, have a meaningful conversation, tell them um, what team they made or if they didn't make a team. Um, and then obviously we would let them know that if they want to talk further, we we would be available to do that at a future time. Um, just another quick note on team selection, upperclassmen athletes, even those who have previously made a team are not necessarily guaranteed a spot on the JV or the varsity team. So um, they're not, uh, we're not just cutting freshmen this year. We are um, looking at our program as a whole. Um, then uh, when we look at playing time on the team, um, we look at it from a number of different aspects, but it's important to know that at the high school level, um, results are important. So um, we'll put the best lineup on the court with the intention to win the game. So given that fact, um, not all players will play every match and certainly playing time will not be equal for everyone. Um, that changes a little bit when you get to the JV and the C team level. Um, those levels are intended to develop players. 
Um, so we will do our very best to get everyone into every game, but playing time will still not be necessarily equal. Um, and then uh, sometimes we'll have C matches, um, and those are primarily intended for freshmen. Um, sometimes we'll, we'll play sophomores to get a group of girls together. Um, but what we'd like to see schedule um, scheduling C games um, so we can get more athletes, more playing time. Um, and then just some quick expectations I have for you as parents. Um, a lot of you um, who maybe live out of town, uh, we love that that you support our athletes. Um, you are our biggest fans. You're our biggest cheerleaders. The girls appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, and so that support is something that's very priceless and irreplaceable. Um, communication that I need from you. Um, concerns if you have related to your daughter's mental, physical, or emotional well-being is something that we'd like to know. So if something's going on, and maybe they're not going to um, seem quite quite on like they normally are at practice or something's up, we would obviously like to know that just so um, we're not caught off guard. If you have specific questions about expectations of yourselves, for sure you can ask about that. Um, if your daughter's experiencing an injury or an illness, that might affect her play as well. Um, we wouldn't want to push her too hard if she's suffering from some sort of injury or illness. And then obviously a notification of student absences from practices or games. Um, and your daughter can also communicate those things, but if you would like to do that, that would be fine as well. Um, you can ask questions about physical and mental treatment of your child. Um, you can ask about ways to help your child improvement or help your child improve and develop. Um, if you have concerns about your child's behavior, those are all things that we're willing to communicate with you. And we pretty much have an open door policy. So if you have questions or concerns about anything like that, we can definitely, um, definitely have that conversation. Um, then the last two are really just kind of game, game situational things. So um, we, we'd like parents to be supportive of every player. Um, coaching from the sidelines isn't something um, that we encourage. Uh, we're coaching them. We want them to listen to us on the sidelines. Um, and we, we just want you to support the team, support every player. Um, that support is irreplaceable. Um, we also wouldn't like any pestering of the officials. Um, as frustrating as it can be sometimes, they do have the best perspective on the court. Um, so their perspective is different from us and you while watching the, the game. Um, however, this is a sinful world. It's not perfect. So if issues do arise, um, we just have some ways that we think would be best to handle um, the situation as an entire uh, school program um, and our athletics in general. So um, our team vision and placement of personnel as coaches can be different from athletes and parents. That is not something that's new. That does happen from time to time um, where there might be a concern about a choice that we're making as coaches. Um, if you as a parent um, or an athlete have a question, we really want the athlete to take that initiative and that accountability and that agency and ask first. So if an athlete has a question on why they're getting a specific amount of playing time in a JV match or sit on the bench on varsity or play a limited amount or anything, play a different position, et cetera, ask the supervising coach. Um, we have an open door policy. We're not going to lie and tell the athlete something that's not true. Um, we want them to ask us these things. So um, this is the athlete's responsibility first to come and ask us if they have concerns about playing time um, or, or the position that they're playing and needs to come from the player first. That's something that we're very adamant on. Um, however, again, not a perfect world. Um, we're all sinful. Uh, if the concern then is still not resolved um, and a parent would like to contact the coach about a concern such as that, um, contact with the coach should be made at an appropriate time. So tensions and emotions can be high immediately following a match or late into that same evening. So please wait until the next day, follow that 24 hour rule um, to address the coach about a concern. Um, communication by all parties, so me included, um, will be done in the spirit of Christian love. Um, we believe that that's, that's what'll come to an understanding. That's what'll help us come to an understanding if a situation like this would arrive. Um, if the discussion cannot be carried out in a rational, calm, and mature manner, the meeting will be suspended immediately. Um, all of these things are coming from our athletic handbook, so you can also see um, this sort of um, progression laid out in the athletic handbook. 
Um, in the majority of cases, we are confident that the parties will resolve with an understanding um, to most questions and concerns. However, if the athlete, parent, or coach cannot mutually come to an understanding, the subject then should be brought to the athletic director first and then to the principal for mediation. So you can kind of think of it like this, first player coach meeting about an issue. If it's still not resolved, parent coach player meeting. Some cases, maybe the athlete wouldn't be involved in that situation and it would just be a parent coach. And then again, if it's still not resolved, then a parent coach player or active and activities director um, would meet then. So it, you can kind of see the progression laid out very simply there. Um, I just want to end on a very positive note. I feel like those last couple of slides were all um, in an extreme situation or maybe not um, necessarily uh, an enjoyable situation. So I want to end on a positive note. I'm so excited for the upcoming season. Um, it's my third year, my third year here. Um, so I've, I've known a lot of these girls for a while now. I'm excited. I think they really have a lot of potential to do something exciting. So I'm very, very excited for the upcoming season. Um, and just a great reminder here from Joshua 1.9, um, to be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So no matter what's ha what happens with our student athletes this year with volleyball, um, whether they make a team, whether they don't, whether they make the team they want to, whether they don't, um, playing time, wins, losses, things like that, it's all relative. And we need to keep, again, Christ at the center, um, as I touched on at the beginning. And that's something that we really try to um, drive home with our athletes um, no matter those those sorts of outcomes. So thanks for um, tuning in to this uh, virtual parent meeting. Um, I hope you can join us for one of our games this year. It should be a fun season.